and welcome to another video. And just got back from work, test week is over, and I'm feeling good. So if you're excited to see the gym footage and see where my numbers are, give this video a like and... Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you the footage from earlier in the week where I tested my squat, bench, and deadlift. But I know a lot of the food perverts out there are probably gonna be sat in a bath, naked, like rubbing peanut butter on themselves, being like, Ooh, where's the food? So how's this? Happy now? Anyway, here's the gym footage.
plenty to discuss, but first, the two elephants in the room that I need to address. My tan lines. Yes, I know they're unbelievably bad. Let's get it off our chest now. It looks like I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Very funny. I can't wear a t-shirt. It's too hot. Just deal with it, okay? And secondly, I only got three donuts rather than 12. Basically, I'm a big believer in healthy eating. I would never put that kind of crap in my body. <laughs> Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly give you a rundown of my lifts and how they went and how, or more importantly, kind of how I feel about them and a bit of explaining, particularly with the squat. And whilst I do that, I thought I'd eat some donuts because they're nice and I'm hungry. And like I said earlier on, there are a lot of weird food perverts out there. So first things first, the squat and this incredible strawberry dream cake thing. So um, the reason I missed that last lift is my adductor. So... I was really worried going into test day that I thought my adductor, because I'd never gone, I hadn't gone heavier than like 205 kilos for the whole training cycle. And so I was worried that my adductor uh, wouldn't hold up and I'd struggle to hit maxes. Um, it felt really good. I couldn't really feel it going up to the heavy ones. The penultimate single, 225 kilos, felt amazing. Like it felt really fast. It was really comfortable. I was feeling very confident. And I went into the top one. And basically, I think I did something weird when I unracked it because... I took a kind of a strange step and I felt a real sharp pain in my adductor and from that point on I think it was game over like I bottled it basically I was kind of scared and when I went into the descent um, yeah I just couldn't really commit to it because of having felt that pain and so I basically bottled it and like you saw just dived under the bar yeah and the rest was obviously history uh, luckily I didn't fall over the steps that would have just added insult to injury um, I lived to tell another tale I mean I was tempted to go back and do it again the adductor felt okay but I don't know I, feel, I find personally after I miss a heavy single like as much as I want to get it again, like my brain just kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm just weak, like my brain just bottles it, it doesn't let me commit to it. And if you're not 100% committed, you're not going to hit a heavy squat, you know. But the, the most important thing is that I know the strength is there. I felt really, really good in the training cycle leading up to that. And like I said, the penultimate single moved really fast. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's just a little bit annoying because it would have been nice to hit like a, a good number, you know. Moving on to my bench press, and I have to eat this because I'm definitely not up to, I should be averaging like one donut per lift, and right now I'm way behind. Um... Uh, Hi, right. my bench press. Um, I'm really, really pleased. Like, um, like I guess I'm equally pleased and surprised. Like when I lost the weight, my bench press took a massive, massive hit, as it always does when you lose weight. Your bench press is going to take a hit because your leverage just can't change completely. Like the first couple of weeks of the cycle, it felt almost like a new lift where I was coming down further and stuff. But testing, I felt really, really good. Like. Not a million miles off where I where I felt when I was like you know another ten kilos heavier. So that's obviously very exciting. The one seventy, which I would have been really happy with beforehand, I got and it moved quite fast. Like I didn't realise at the time. I think at the time I thought it was slower than it was, but having watched it back a few times now, it moved quite fast. I probably had a little bit more there, but I'm happy to kind of leave it there. Oh my god! Sorry, I'm not very good at eating and talking. I don't want to have that old donut all over my face and like disgust you. Although the food perverts are probably like in their element, just rubbing their hands, loving it. Um, but yeah, that's like 15 kilograms on on top of where I was at the competition. And like I said, bearing in mind how I felt at the beginning of the training cycle, I'm really, really pleased, and it bodes very well moving into my next training cycle. And lastly, the deadlift and this uh, custard donut, which is unbelievable. It's like chocolate, and it's got like this vanilla custard inside it, and it's like so good. Um, so, deadlift. Uh, I'm not as pleased as I am with my bench press, but I'm still pretty pleased. Like, bearing in mind. My existing PRs were set at another 10 kilos body weight and with a deadlift bar. Hitting 280 is pretty decent, I think. Like, again, it's another 10 kilograms on top of what I did at my competition like seven weeks or however long ago it was. And it keeps me on track for where I want to be. Um, didn't feel great. Like, warming up wasn't feeling amazing. I was a little bit kind of feeling a little bit dodgy. Uh, the penultimate single looks okay on the video, but didn't feel good at all. Like, it felt slow on the floor. And to be honest, without wanting to sound negative, I went into the 280 thinking I'm not going to get this, which obviously I know isn't a great mindset, but I can't help it. But yeah, I got it in the end. It was a little bit of a grinder, but as soon as it broke the floor, I knew I had it. So that's obviously a good thing. Um, and yeah, like I said, same with the mentors. It puts me in a good place. Like I was never expecting to get anywhere. I'm you know, not thinking I was going to hit PRs in this at the end of the training cycle because I've only 
I've been training for less than you know two months off the back of that massive weight loss and off the back of having like a month off. But yeah, bearing in mind the British champs are in October. I've still got another two training cycles, so if I continue my progress at the current rate, which I expect or I hope I will, then when I test at the end of the next training cycle, I'll be kind of around PR territory, and that means one more training cycle going to the British Champs, it puts me in a really strong place, you know? And yeah, that's what it's all about, like, whereas previously, because I wasn't really, I had like the best part of a year without competing, like my goals were more based around just hitting PRs all the time, two things have changed firstly i've dropped weight classes so setting prs at the moment is unrealistic although technically they are prs for the weight class you know um but also i've got the british champs in mind the british champs is my ultimate goal by a million miles all i'm looking at is doing well there so i'm looking more at the numbers i need to do well in the british champs rather than out and out prs but obviously hitting prs is going to be good and it's going to facilitate uh, the latter part but yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling good like the squat was annoying but it's still going to plan in terms of my strength there. So basically, all things uh, said, I'm in a good place. So it is a case of just continue working, hit the next training cycle. I'm gonna make a few changes to that, which I'll talk about in further videos. Um, my first priority is to eat this donut because I said I was gonna eat all three before I finish this chat and I haven't done that. So I'll eat this and then uh, get on with my evening. So uh, that was longer than planned. Awkward. Um, just sat down and edited the video, and it's already at freaking 12 minutes. What is wrong with me? Uh, so, with that in mind, I'm going to wind it up here, guys. Um, before I go, I have some exciting news. I am going to make a Road to the British Champ series. I asked you guys about it recently, and the feedback was very positive. Um, so, being the forward thinking guy that I am, I'm going to roll with it, and it will be coming out probably in the next couple of weeks, I guess. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, I'm going to end it here. So, I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow.